Hi, welcome to another motion tutorial. My name is Sean McVeigh, and in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to take those HD template files that the motion supplies you with and convert them down to an SD file size, which would be standard definition, which would um, help you as far as uh, putting these um, templates into a regular standard definition project. So, what we're going to do here is we're going to click on uh, motion, do file, new project, and here we're going to do NTSC broadcast SD, hit OK. Everything comes up here in this window. That's fine. But what I want to do here is go File, go Open Template. All these projects here are all HD files, which is fine, but it's hard, you know, even to this day, to actually get the HD files outputted um, onto a DVD. So um, what I'd like to show you is that this is one that I actually like to use. You can use it on a resume reel or, you know, as an open of a show, but it's called Spin. So we're going to sit there and click Open Template. When it opens it up, it opens it up as an HD file. So what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to click on this, make this 50%. And then what I'm going to do here is go Edit, Project Properties. I'm going to click down this pull down menu and I'm going to say, let's make that broadcast SD. Hit OK. So now it's made the file size smaller. I'll come here, click on to 100% just so I can see it in this window. Now, click on the project and time in Windows. It brings up the whole project, and if you play it, you say, all right, that's great, but the text is still too big. Well, here's what we do. We click on the spin, which is where all our text elements are. If I click this down, you'll see these are all my text elements, but I just want to affect the whole group of them. I want to make them smaller. So I'm going to click on spin. I'm going to go to Inspector, go to Properties. I'm going to click the position, get some of these set up here. And I'm just going to scale this down. So now, when you play it, it fits within the parameters of the project we're working with. We might have to adjust it a little bit because if you look at the safe title area by clicking over here, like I showed you before, safe zones, highlight is just not showing to me, but it should be showing to me. Oh well, well, usually safe zones are there. We know that we're actually getting kind of close here on the sides here, so we probably want to bring it down a little bit more, something like that. Now when I play it, that should be well within the safe zones of a SD file. And basically when you get something like this, all you're doing is clicking down here, you know, go to the group one, you can see it down here as well, it's highlighted there, where it says text here, you highlight that, or you come in here, and you just, whoops, if I can get it to register. There we go. I can sit there and go um, Joe Smith as one thing. As that flies by, I want something else to come up here. So I go to the group two. I'll close this to make it a little bit easier. And now to group two, where it says enter text, highlight that. And then usually you can just double click in here. There you go. I might put down um, whether, you know, uh, you could put down, you know, a phone number where it would be 333-5555. So you get that there, Joe Smith, and you get 5555. And then the third text layer here could be, um, uh, I don't know, um, demo reel. I might be a little bit out of order, but you get the point here. Um, and you'd have another, another one here. If you don't like that, you don't need a third or fourth one, you just kind of come over here. I can highlight this group, hit delete, that it's gone now. So now I got my three elements. I got the Joe Smith, the phone number where he can be reached at. I might have to center that a little bit and call it a demo reel. And you put that at the beginning of a demo reel and uh, you got something going on there. So it's a quick little tutorial, tutorial on how to uh, take those templates, bring them down to a file size that works um, in Final Cut and in, uh, in your project and, and uh, works out fairly well. Um, I've used it a lot and uh, I've had pretty good success with it. So uh, take that one and uh, have some fun with it and uh, I'll see you in the next one.